All right, we're out with our friends Will and Ivis, and uh, we're going to go out and see their property and, and check it out. And we've got Will over there driving. He's in the pilot seat. Yeah, getting a wave. Ivis back there. Cindy back there. Where are the pups? They're, they're back there somewhere. Yeah, they're back here. They're back there enjoying the ride. So we're out uh, just going to enjoy the day. We've got a little bit of sunshine, so we're going to take advantage of it. Absolutely. See you all in a bit. Well, we're at the Conklin Marina on uh, Port Lane Lake. Just thought we'd take a quick uh, walk down here. It's not too far down from our friend's property that they have. Thought we'd walk down and take a look. Are you guys close for the season? Not yet. Not yet. at uh, Shad Calais State Park um, on uh, Coeur d'Alene Lake and going to go out for a, a chilly walk. Most of these places along Lake Coeur d'Alene are so hidden uh, it just is almost a challenge to find which I'm sure the locals love that because they're just hidden. It's very mountainous, steep roads, and those things. Hi, Ibis. So that's the uh, bike, bike and walk bridge that goes um, across the lake. And there's actually a trail that goes all around Coeur d'Alene Lake. It is just uh, 70, 90 miles, something like that. It's, it's quite the uh, trail, bike and walk trail. You can just see the, the quick drop off into the lake, you know. Just I can go to the bridge. Yeah,
just beautiful out on our walk and we're you know we're on that bike trail we're we're uh, coming up on the to the top of the that bridge that crosses the lake And here just on the other side of the bridge, uh, at least the tallest part of the bridge where boats can go under. And we're not gonna go on any further, but it stretches all the way out across the other side of the lake. And then the trail actually wraps 85, 90 miles around the lake. It's just a beautiful area, absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, we're all ready. I'm gonna come on back. Okay. Good, good job. Get in your seat, Bella. Get in your seat, sweetie. Come on. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. Okay, ready for light check? Ready. Okay, okay. Alrighty then. Okay, baby. Okay. Oh, there's the camera. Yeah. Okay, baby. Let's put the radios away. Okay. Let's put the radios away. No one's gonna do that. That's what um. Well, we're on our way to McCall, <coughs> Idaho, and uh, our trek to uh, Florida has begun. Florida, here we come. South Carolina. Yeah. See our grandson and his lovely wife. Yeah. Just absolutely thank our friends for letting us have our rig out on their property and and that was the first was it four nights yes that's the first four nights first night we have spent outside of our rig in two years yep. since we've owned it we so uh um, it was uh, very different for us but they have a beautiful home and uh, um, and the next time we see them they're gonna have their home built out on their property. So it's very exciting for them and we're praying for them. And, uh, yeah, what they, gracious, lovely, welcoming friends we have. They um, treated us to like everything, just 
cook, Ivis cook for us every single night and she's an amazing cook and so we ate well and we had a great, great fellowship time with them so it was really wonderful. Thank you Ibis and Will. That's yeah, been really, really a good week. Yes. Excited to see what happens with their property out here. Yes. Excited for them. We're living our dream and they're absolutely living their dream yes. and it's, it's just exciting it is. to be at these times in our lives. Regardless of what age and stage you are, <laughs> if your dream's out there and you're going for it, um, good for you. Yes. Good for you. It's so worth it. Just not give up on your dream. Well, this is our last day here in Idaho. And the interesting part about it is it's sort of where our journey first started. So anyway, this is Anderson Camp, just outside of Twin Falls, Idaho. And we've come back, gosh, it's been two years to see uh, Mandy and Jason and uh, just give them a hug and tell them hello and, and see them for a day. So here at the camp, uh, they've got, got places for kids. And so this is right along the interstate. These places for kids to play in season, of course. Right now, things are closed for the season. So they've got amenities and got uh, propane back there. Besides the amenities for kids and the pool, again seasonal, and this is a building, it's a, a part of a, uh, or they own as well, a Sinclair station. Well, we're staying overnight and uh, for a couple of nights in uh, uh, Twin Falls, Idaho. We're looking at the Snake River right now. And of course, what would uh, Twin Falls possibly be like? Oh, some beautiful waterfalls coming down. Without the epic bridge. <laughs> 